Hello, and welcome back to this series of videos that I'm doing testing all of the latest AIs with a very simple back end test. These are the current scores on the doors. If you're curious, right now, the actual implementation of what I'm using in Harbor was created by Claude Opus, and I would give that an 8 out of 10. GLM 4.7 inside Claude Code did a pretty good job with a 6 out of 10. Kilo Code Minimax M2.1 did 7 out of 10. Now, these are all kind of different pricing, right? So again, the whole point of this is we're looking at the difference in price versus the difference in trustworthiness slash intelligence. Now, today we have a very interesting one. I've been talking about this for a while and just how good I actually think Codex is. And also the fact that it's only $19.99 a month for pretty good usage. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same brand, exactly the same test you can see right here. We've um, just reset the branch, so it's to the one before with uh, all the changes, basically. And then we'll just see whether we can actually see the model that I want to use. We can't, so it looks like we're going to have to update Codex. Okay, guys, so I did want to use this inside the Visual Studio Code extension. However, it seems like that's not going to be possible. Um, I think I am using the right model. I changed the model uh, to 5.2 Codex. But just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to use the terminal version of Codex. Like I said, I didn't really want to do this, but it is what it is. So we'll see the inside harbor here, and we'll just run codex. Uh, yes, allow it to work. And then we'll do slash model here. And we need to update this as well. OK, guys, I do have access to the model inside Visual Studio Code. So we'll use it here, because I, I do genuinely think that this one is better than using it inside the CLI. I don't have any evidence of that. It's just personal experience. OK, so we have the file open. We're back at a more recent branch, and we've started a new branch. Let's just make sure this has absolutely everything it needs. Yep, OK. So let's send it, guys. And genuinely, I think this is going to be 10 out of 10. Oh, let's just start a new combo. I didn't mean to press that. OK, so we now leave this, and this is probably going to take a little bit of time. Although it does seem pretty fast. This is 5.2 Codex. I'm extremely excited to see the result here, to be honest with you. Why is it reading Claude.md? That's interesting. Would not have expected that. That's pretty cool that it does that. Okay, now it's reading the readme. I'm just going to kind of chat a little bit, guys, uh, and we'll just see how this goes. Seems to be reading everything it should read. Sorry if you can hear my stomach, guys. I haven't eaten just yet. It's only 10.26. I'm in Italy now, if anyone cares or if anyone's curious. I'm in Naples up the mountain, really beautiful. We've got an Airbnb up the mountain. It's absolutely, I say up the mountain, it's like four kilometers up um, Monte Soma. Absolutely beautiful here, guys. Stupendous. There's sun. And yeah, it's just really, really nice, to be honest with you. I know that it's uh, it's December, but somehow it's like, it, what, what degrees is it? Is it like 12 degrees? It must be like 12 degrees at least. Crazy. Guys, honestly, like I can just tell already the amount this is reading. If this messes up, I would be very, very surprised. And just remember, I'm only on the 1999 plan. In my opinion, Codex is the best option for budget coding. You can go down the whole Minimax and, you know, GLM and paying two bucks a month and blah, 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 blah. For raw coding power, you need something a little bit more. I am going to continue these tests, but genuinely, I would be so surprised if Codex doesn't win the competition, right? I'm still going to be testing Haiku. I still need to test Flash 3 on this build. But this is a genuine build, right? And just look how much detail this thing is collecting. It hasn't even started coding yet. Okay, guys, so about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, not sure. Later, we seem to have an entire integration. Now, every single time I've done this, it's never worked just off the bat, right? So let's see if that is no longer the case. I'm just going to use Claude code just to get things. Actually, I'll try and use. Mm, it's not very good at getting things running, but get the project. I can test. OK, so it did make the classic error of using um, 
a mutation. Only actions can be defined in node.js, basically. So it needs to separate that. This is very common. It happens basically every single time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mark it down necessarily. I would have expected it to have got that from my current code, though, to be honest, which is a little bit disappointing that it didn't. But it is what it is. It happens. Okay, guys, so it finished. Let's find out if it worked, basically. Featured images, so this is everything that it created. Let's choose this. Okay. So one of the issues, guys, just so you know, is that we have um, old, like, code, right? Uh, not old code, old things in the database from previous generations. So it does cause issues um, just with uh, basically us having data that doesn't fit the new schema, right? This is just because I've done a lot of these tests, right, um, on, on the same database. It's not actually a problem with Codex at all, so. Okay, guys, so this is, I believe, the final product. Let's see if it actually generates the template. If this does this first time, okay, it didn't. Again, it's a validation error. It's not really the fault of, of Convex. Again, it's because we just have so much legacy data uh, that it doesn't consider, right? Because obviously it didn't read the database first. So let me just fix this final validation error. Again, this doesn't affect my scoring of codex. Okay, let's see if first time, or what we consider to be first time, it actually generates. And there it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is possibly the best implementation I've seen. Okay, so we've set that active. Uh, this is the least messing around that I've had to do for sure. Let's just close this a sec. So this is now the active template, as you can see here. And now we can use that to generate other featured images. Pretty much a perfect implementation. This looks like another validation issue, which is fine. Again, doesn't count against Codex because it's not Codex's fault. Um, it's my fault for not having my database set up properly. Uh, it looks like it is actually getting the kind of actual imagery from the website as well. It used Nano Banana to actually generate the template, which is exactly what I wanted, which no other AI did so far. Let's just see if this actually has a logo set. It doesn't, so let's just use, let's go back here, select two men instead, wait for that to finish, generate template. Let's see if this actually uses two men's logo here. Now, like I said, guys, absolutely no cheating pure transparency. This costs $19.99 a month. And it's better, it's done a better implementation of what I actually wanted than Claude Code. What Claude Code did is really, really cool, right? And it probably is what I will keep, but it's actually not what I wanted. It's not what I prompted. I didn't, oh Jesus, what is that? Okay, Harbor's down for some reason. I need to check why that might be because of what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, it's not actually what I wanted. It gave me like a playground where you could make your own templates manually. I didn't want that. I wanted exactly what this has given me, right? So to be honest with you, this is a much, much, much better implementation of what I actually wanted. So I might have to just keep this. I'm just going to see what happens with this generation right here, see if it's any good. And I'll probably work on this a little bit more today uh, in a bit. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to see if this actually produces... An image, okay, it's terrible, but it gets the idea. So yeah, I mean, this is the closest implementation to what I actually wanted. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Codex 5.2 is insane, and it's only $19.99 a month. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, I'm actually legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.